And we're off to the races. And actually have to use the stylus. I keep wanting to use the controller, like to just, I'm, I default to using the D-pad, but it will not accept D-pad or face button input. You have to use it. All right, we're gonna try to fit in Bob Ross here. There's just enough room. Perfect. Absolutely is. Right hand. Sure do. Start. Adventure. <laughs> I love the little paper craft, like South Park Zelda in the bottom there. There was a young girl. Savvy to the seas, and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. Look at the happy little opening. You can see some of that Van Dyke brown being used there on the, uh, the boat. Notice a little bit of that titanium white on the on the waves there. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. I guess they're summarizing Wind Waker here. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. We get the Zelda's lullaby. And once she transformed into a beautiful princess, her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. <laughs> yeah, right, Yukupo? She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. <laughs> Link looks shocked all the time. Just then, a huge, ominous king appeared. <laughs> Titanium White carried Princess Zelda away. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. It's a direct sequel, Kratos. The way that uh, Majora's Mask is a sequel to um, Link to the Past, it involves the same Link. Spirit Tracks is the same, I think, right? This is my first time playing through this one. I only ever played like an hour of it. Boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journal was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. Yeah, I think it's a cool concept, Spikey. You're excited to, like, keep progressing further and further through it. <laughs> Got that Van Dyke brown. Lizard and Crimson. Beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Well, I mean, she kind of rescued Link there, but okay. Later, the two set out with a brave pirate crew in search of new lands. I really think this was written by the pirates. Oh, Spirit Tracks is a is a inheritor to like the Hero of the Wind. It's it's in that timeline, the Hyrule is flooded timeline. Gotcha. The uh Oh, it was written by the pirates. <laughs> what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Alright, I gotta tap the screen. Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Bob Ross, are you sleeping, Swabby? Of course he is. Bob Ross! Bob Ross! In the timeline where there was no Link, because Zelda sent adult Link back to be a kid again. So the bloodline of the hero ended, and uh, again in one, they had to flood Hyrule. Well, it's supposed to be on lookout. <laughs> Ha, ah, some legendary hero you are. Who believe you saved me from the evil king? Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. Guess he told you not to call me Zelda. It had to work just fine before, you know. But enough about that. This is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Sure was a good idea. What about all those ships have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of them. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. 
It's all because of that spooky ghost ship. She said scary, but spooky is a better word than draw out. G -g 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 ghosts <laughs> I spy with my little eyes something that begins with P. P, -p, -p Pirate ghosts. Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? <laughs> It really is an evil ghost. No such thing as a ghost ship. Well, I mean, Link can beg to differ. I'm sorry, Bob Ross should beg to differ. Expose them as a bunch of frauds and remind them that there are rules to being pirates. Doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. Pretty good. Hey, look. Air feels chilly, even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world not take detours. Ship ahoy. <laughs> right, Dark Star. Dude, the, the corn Scooby-Doo episode is easily one of the best episodes of South Park. Man, moderately spookier. As though speaking of it summoned it. That's what it could be the ghost ship. Oh man, let's get some treasure. I like think that Link just becomes a pirate after everything. Yeah, right, <laughs> Tearhawk. It's one of the very few South Park episodes where they actually got celebrity voice actors, too. They almost always just do a really bad impersonation. That's a cool take on that song. Mm-hmm. Kitty's just eight. Don't let them trick you, Andrea. Welcome home. Bob Ross! Save me! Bob Ross. Mountain in West Texas when I was out of Derby. In moccasins? And I only brought these because I'm a <laughs> You hear the voice of my lovely wife in the background there. At home from work. Hey, we got a fairy now. We didn't have a fairy in Wind Waker before. We weren't moving, so I thought you were done for, but it looks like you're going to be okay. Who are you? I'm Ciella. I'm a fairy. I was out floating around and found you here. What happened? This game actually looks really good for a DS title. Friend was taken away by a ghost ship. Did the link actually explain that, or is Ciela just perceptive? Say that those it takes are never seen again. Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. Okay. House is up there off the beach. Come on. It's cool to bring um, fairies back into the universe. Can you walk? Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Okay. I'm going to have to get used to this. There we go. Okay, so I can tap on the screen and he'll follow wherever I'm holding. It's actually a little bit easier for me to watch it on my computer screen with my capture card because then the stylus isn't in front of my face but I can still generally use it. There you go. If you've never played Phantom Hourglass before, maybe try doing it with uh, 
Pretty ass capture card. Monsters ahead. Yeah, exactly, Goomba. Oh there, friend! Try tapping on me! Just tap on people to speak with them. Try tapping on other things, like signs and barrels. Alright. Go ruin your barrels. Works for me. Nice. I got a rupee. I got a rupee. I got a rupee. Hey, 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 hey! up, lady? Heard that the ghost ship is on the prowl again, stealing more islanders. Very dangerous. Yeah, you could probably... <laughs> the, um, my favorite iteration of Mario is Charade's silent protagonist Mario from my RPG. <laughs> he, like, does the Wily e. Coyote thing. Oh, let me make some room for Andrew to sit down here one sec. This is 3DS, so the camera's extra small resolution. Try to pack it as tight as possible. Yeah, I was gonna check out what you ended up doing for your display. I had everybody vote, and they said this one looked better. Oh, uh, you had two options? Man. Yeah. Look at you. Bob Ross is going the wrong way. Oh, his name is Bob Ross? Yep. Stream. Oh, but he's covering his beautiful hair with his hat. <laughs> Not that way, Bob Ross. Man. Come on, Bob no. Ross, get your shit together. What you doing railroading me for, CL? This isn't Spirit Tracks. You, you, you ride yeah, man, train. for this game, that's a that is a good display. <laughs> Dr. Wowie. Yeah. Mario RPG is a really good game. That was one of the earliest games we streamed. We go back and watch on YouTube, you can check out that playthrough. What's up, old dude? Hello, traveler. Your name is Bob Ross. I'm well, yes, Ocious, it is. and I live on this island. Gala told me all about what happened to you. I was fast. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. Yeah, it's sad. I understand you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. I just want to find the ship, not my friend. <laughs> but Grandpa, what are you saying? Bob Ross's friend was carried away. Yeah, Grandpa! The evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. Roams the seas in search of victims of capture. No one has ever escaped. Best if you stay far away from the ghost ship. Seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. But I bet she'd let me see her boobs. <laughs> hey, Atheist. This is Andrea. Oh, hello. She's often in chat as AMA4483. I could give up, are you? Young people. Kids these days. <laughs> days and their quests. <laughs> their loyalty to each other. Hey, welcome back, Yahan. I don't know, does that mean you can't sleep, Yahan? Sailor by the name of Linebeck. It's be always there. bittersweet when Yahan's in chat. Yeah, Yahan is in Finland. And we it's like having right Yahan there. in chat because he's awesome. But, it's usually but he's usually sleep. in chat when he can't sleep. <laughs> Harbor is there. That... Yes, yeah, so you can see the map in the top right corner of the stream. Mm -hmm. I'll go with Bob Ross and show him who he is. Thanks, Navi. It's yellow. Oh, they're more different, Navi. It looks just like Navi. You're it sounds just like fairies. Navi. Was Navi blue or something? This one's pink. They look identical. They're fairies. They're obviously different. They have different names. This one's a little bit flatter. Oh man, D Rock. Enjoy. Ooh, like Catch you later, man. Uh, tomorrow we're playing Zelda Triforce Heroes at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 o'clock Eastern. Uh, with, like, a pre-made, it's not going to be with randos. So if you wanted to tune in, check that out. We'd be happy to have you all. Will you have your team speak going on? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So y'all can talk to each other. Yeah, so not just use... <laughs> no! 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 So there is some fun in item, that. Item, item. It is kind of fun, yeah. It's, it's painful, but when you're successful, it's it feels good when you're playing... Like, I am a master genius <laughs> god of all things. Yeah, yeah, I had a friend come over and they downed a bottle of wine. Ah, right on! Okay. So that's Yummy. a fun story. The story of my birth. I was supposed to be born on Halloween. Uh-huh. And my dad... His cousin Steve came over you, on October. You were October, actually born on the 19th. On October 19th, my dad's cousin Steve came over, and they were going to watch, uh, I don't know, it was like Game 3 or something of the World Series. Red Sox versus Yankees. 
So kind of a big deal for people from Connecticut. So they get like absolutely wasted shit face drunk. I think my dad said that he was exclaiming something like, the room is spinning after my mom told him my water just broke. <laughs> and perhaps not the wisest decision. Definitely, not definitely decision. not the wisest decision. He went to a cold shower and drove us to the hospital. That's horrible. Don't ever do that. Uh, yes, yeah, don't Glad drink and drive. Alive. Yeah. And but and it ended up and then he went and promptly passed out in the hospital bathroom. Although thankfully it was like a twenty six. So maybe it was October eighteenth. It was like a twenty six hour labor. So I think he actually yeah, was awake up. <laughs> when when I was born. For the bridge to be fixed, man. I ain't even trying to hear that. Yeah, I hope you don't have a pregnant wife. Spiky, I don't think I'd want to play uh, Triforce Heroes with randos again after the demo. Um, if you have friends that you can either play it with locally or you can play over TeamSpeak, absolutely. Yeah, Co-op games without people that you can like talk to are hard. Yeah. And like the the communication mechanics they give you they give you some things that you don't really need and some things are missing you would really be good to have yeah we get a sword can't fight these tubes right now yeah you're just running away from them yeah that's what i was asked <laughs> what's up dude I said a bad bit of look my garden that quake just heaved a bunch of rocks in the middle of my patch what sure hey uh, you have things. money in these rocks don't tell him that. Yeah, I hear you, Goombo. That turned randos. It's a perfect word. It's nice and short. Oh, but... yeah, what happened when Kahan was born? You're probably typing as we speak. Monster Hunter worked out okay. It's really hard to design a game that you can play with randos without ever getting frustrated. I think it's possible, but... You know what's amazing? Um, I feel like it's a general consensus that people don't like group projects. But within group projects, people think that they're the one doing all the work or something. Like, that those two statements can't exist together. Like, so who are the randos that are being annoying when you do these co-op things? Uh... Did you follow where I was going with that? Sorry, I was drawing my map. What? Okay, so if everyone hates group projects, uh huh, and everyone thinks that no one's doing enough work, how can that happen? Like, I don't think everyone, everyone thinks... hates group projects. That's not oh. true at all. There are people who exclusively want to be. In group all right, projects. so maybe I should revise the statement. I tend to be friends with people who hate group projects, mm -hmm. but that says something about me. And you probably would get along well if your group was all people who hate group projects. Yeah, we all just do our own little thing, and we're all responsible for our own little thing. I don't know how you roll in this game. Yeah, one person puts it all together in the end or something. Mm -hmm. I still can't do anything with this guy. I don't have a sword yet. Talk oh yeah, I've guy. had some friends who are like, Oh my god, child. Come out already, and then they get induced. I don't want to solo queue MOBAs. Talk about being, um... Toxic. I mean, and that's a case where if you're bad, if you're just bad at the game, but you're trying to learn it because you've never played it before, there's a good chance you're going to waste nine people's time. Right. Well, and it's hard to know. Someone just like new and honestly trying to figure it out, or are they being toxic? I guess you should probably give them the benefit of the doubt, but not everyone got time for that. Mm -hmm. and then you found a sword. Then you can show those monsters. Heroes of the Storm. Just made me think of isn't there a door song? Riders of the Storm. Bing. Bing. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. How do you get this door open? He cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Alright. You like my four. beautiful uh tree that I drew up there? It's four. You sure? I don't remember, but for some reason that's just, you know, calling well, to I'm gonna, me. I don't I don't trust you. No, you really shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Wow, wait, There's no, that's but that's not the beach. That's grass. Grass isn't the beach. No, that that counts. There are what? No palm trees on the what? beach. What? Five, six. 
I think it's six. Maybe it changes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven palm trees. Ah, oh, ah. Uh, you're uh, very uh. kind. So maybe it changes from game to game, as opposed to like maybe you just don't remember. Oh, I think that's probably. I probably what don't remember. I I believe in you. No. <laughs> well, at I least that makes four. one of us. I believe in you. I just don't believe you. No. Okay to be wrong. Not sucking you as hard as when he's far away. What? What do you do on this stream when I'm not watching? Wait, what? I don't know. You got a quote. Well, apparently you said. It must have been from a game that has to do with a boss. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not asking first. <laughs> You're like, okay, Yaha, just let me know when it's convenient for you for me to give birth, okay? <laughs> you know, we'll just hold off until... <laughs> that's, uh, that's cool, Spiky. That's probably the way to do it. Just give you enough time that one person could do it. And then the multiplayer part is a bonus. Like, it should never be that you have to be working together, if it's with randos anyway. Use the stylus to swing. Tapping and drawing lines quickly is the key to death sword play. Okay. Ah, thanks, Connie. Alright, I got another quote. <laughs> I was wondering if you should go through the quote list and, like, clean it up, but maybe you don't want to do that. The quote list is not paper. So that's a Wikipedia policy. Wikipedia is not paper. Oh, but so people they don't will throw be like, away? you should, you know, you should delete stuff from the article because it's too long, and they're like, no, Wikipedia is not paper. There's no reason why an article shouldn't be 100 pages long. Yeah, if, all right. the, if all the data is all helpful. Alright, 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 alright. Stole your sword, Grandpa. Now without showing you your hands. Aw, oh, thanks, Grandpa. Meet me in my house, Bob Ross. Ooh. Water boss from Majora's Mask, that sounds right. <laughs> Everyone tell me how great I am. People tend to be like cats. When you want them to do something, they just won't. <laughs> it's only when you don't want them to do it that they do. Must teach you Thus the, the world is created in such a way that you are always unsatisfied. Which is one of the first principles of Buddhism. Mm -hmm. that, the, that life is unsatisfying. Tap on a target, close in for the attack. And if that's not your bag, there's a way out. And it's called enlightenment. I'm glad that this game included um, the orchestra hits. From Wind Waker. I really, really like that. Sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. If we remove quotes, we're killing peak peak sentience. <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly control. murdering it, cutting away piece by piece. Have a good Friday night. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Who's leaving? Yukupo. Bye, Yukupo. Spin attack. Slide the sails in a circle around yourself. So spin attack, Bob Ross. Alright. Teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. If you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Got it. Let me turn up my own audio a little bit here. Oh yeah, that'd be lovely. Is it better? <laughs> Game's fairly quiet. Can you guys hear it okay, by the way? I'm sure you can hear us okay. But... I actually don't know this song. I'm just sort of making it up. To okay. But that that wasn't out. immediately apparent. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm somewhat in key. Maybe. In my mind, I am. It may be, Kami. It may be. Man, I think it's gonna be uh, jump strike all the time. Oh, did you get any more disconnect problems? I did a few times, but I think it may have chilled out. It's okay. Every it's time, every time someone says knock on wood, part of me wishes that you would just, you know, go and punch yourself. What? In the, in the nether regions, 
to make that joke, but no one ever does. But I think it's absolutely. Funny. I'm not gonna punch myself in the <laughs> dick on stream because it's kind of funny. Are you serious? How many of those did you drink before you came and sat down secretly over by the fridge? Jesus. I didn't Christ. have a big lunch. <laughs> okay. But you get it, right? Yeah, I get the yes. <laughs> knock on wood. Uh huh. I punch myself in the dick. Jesus Christ. For your, to get your jollies. <laughs> Okay, I'll just imagine it happening. Oh, great. I'm having you fantasize about <laughs> auto dick punch a kiss or whatever. Get the chew! <laughs> no, you got a quote out of it. <laughs> <laughs> just cuts it's kind of funny. I'm sorry, Jesus. it's funny. Tap a block to grab it, then tap the arrow to remove it. I'm glad that you have that level of respect. I, I, <laughs> I'm glad that you respect yourself enough that you won't punch yourself in the dick, like like some kind of clown. <laughs> when I, you, levers, you won't be able to get on like America's left. Funniest Home Videos, but I think that's okay. Number one. <laughs> It's hard to Put do. up the, you should be 18 if you're watching this <laughs> disclaimer. I am just in a mood today. <laughs> From left. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that was, I could have just remembered that. Already done. Already took care of it. <laughs> Already got it. Yay, shortcuts. The next puzzle is going to be harder, and it'll be good that you write things down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I have been punched in the boobs, though, and that really, really I hear hurts. it's comparable. That hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! Spin attack! Okay, well, don't spin attack. You know, just attack each of them in turn. We got more gin. Great. <laughs> Hey, Red Rupee! When pulling the levers, second, first on the left, last, second from the right. Okay. Number two. Uh, first on left. Last is probably the fourth one, would be my guess. Second. From right. This is kind of cool, the whole like right on the map thing. It's like something that you used to have to do in video games way back in the day. <laughs> Kami. Andrew has clearly never been punched in the day. <laughs> never. Yeah, just 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 whack, just punch as hard as you can. <laughs> no, I didn't say as hard, but like dog. <laughs> you make a fist when you dog. Pull the four levers in the correct order or else. Okay, so we have to deduce the last one. So we go second from the left is this guy. Number two is first on the left. This is three then. Or else probably spawns the snake monsters. Oh, all right, Yahan. We can <laughs> we can be, be dropped together. Here. Yeah, so be, writing on the map, it kind of takes you back to old school video games when you were expected to have like a notebook with you or the manual sometimes would have a page for notes. So it's cool that they're able to build that into the game directly. So I have never been punched in the dick, but I have punched guys in the dick. You're All the time! Monster. It was an accident! Okay. He, and I really got my sister's boyfriend once super hard. He was, like, tickling me, which maybe in hindsight was somewhat inappropriate. And I kicked, and I feel real bad. And then my cousin was trying to steal the remote from me, and I fought back, and... He was wearing sweatpants, so I feel real bad. <laughs> oh man, moral atheist, I'm sorry. There's that uh, Futurama episode where they're like... Oh! Yeah, they're like joking oh. about... Um, they like switch genders and they get switched back yeah, I always and wondered tested by crushing his balls on the bike. About Probably. like guys... I guess when he's sit on a bike, you kind of have to like... set him down in a nice position or... 
No, you don't. No, what they. Is, okay. How does this work in your mind? <laughs> <I don't laughs> let me just let me just adjust. Make sure it's resting to the right side of the bicycle seat. We know nothing about <laughs> snow. I do. I know nothing about about oh, testicles. It wasn't until a couple years ago that I like learned that they actually oscillate throughout the day. I did not know that. I find Get that very interesting. Oh, I see. It hides. Let's see if I can sneak him out. I gotta like catch him. Can I? Oh, I think I know what I can do. That's hide fancy. behind the block. But you have to hide behind the block. You have to hide behind the block. I don't think I have to hide behind the block. I think I no. have to block him in. Oh. When I was in middle school. A kid came up to me one time, and I was a See, now, kid. this was mean. Yeah, that's absolutely I mean. never did this. This kid came up to me, and he said, Hey, Dylan. What's the capital of China? What's the capital of China? And I started to say Beijing. And, and he goes, and Bangkok! Boom! Smashes me. It was bad enough that it was one of those, like, I had to throw up afterward kind of situations. That didn't do what I thought it was doing. I thought it was going to block the whole... Then he just curled over and was like, That's the capital of Thailand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Thailand, not China. Let's see if he sneaks out. It's pretty hard. I'm glad that it's hard to accidentally sit on your balls. Yes. That's and not a I'm not surprised problem. that nature has evolved y'all ah, to be that way. That seems. So that was the solution was block the hole, but let him run around so you can not pop him. <laughs> Understand the ball science. So, this adorable game that opened with a fun cardboard cutout painting of pirates having a good time. Woohoo! Didn't involve any ball punching. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> hey, look, you didn't even have to hit the keys. You already hit it with a bolt. Yeah. Although, well, you know, to be fair, you're coming into their house. Man, scaring them. Just like, waking them up because it's the day, so they're sleeping. If I didn't have and to. You kill start them, throwing rocks at them. They weren't such jerks. But you startled oh, them! Yeah, and they, they call them uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters out here in America. I've never had them. I haven't I mean, heard if they're fried, they're good. But Are they pretty chewy? much anything fried is good. I would Are they so, like yeah. gushers? <laughs> I don't think they're like gushers. Hey, folks, so my stream is usually, uh, you know, not marked mature audiences only. I, I can't stop my wife, though. <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> Head to the port. I don't think I can mark that. It's right there. Could go to this tree. I was though. joking with a colleague, like, that he should go back to some of these videos or, like, find a clip or something. And so when he puts up a plot, it's like, so our esteemed colleague Andrea tells us there is no dark matter, but would you really trust this person? <laughs> <laughs> They're like gushers, yeah. The other two, but now so many monsters. The schedule update, guys. We're playing Phantom Hourglass for another 45 minutes. If you're just here for Zelda, it will return next week, Monday, from noon to 6 Pacific, all day Phantom Hourglass. After we beat this one, we're going to be starting up uh, Spirit Track, which is another game that I haven't played before. If you're new to the stream, I'm Marset. I'm trying to play through and beat every awesome single-player game ever made, knowing that you can't really get to all of them. I'm trying anyway. You know what, Dylan, if we have kids, we're gonna have to have the- you live in the age where everything you do is recorded, so make sure that you're careful in case you ever run for office conversation. That's probably true, yeah. Although, I'm wondering if the attitude towards that kind of change as everyone's living in that world, you know? It might. But you can't- you can say like, oh man, you got, like, <laughs> wasted when you were underage. I, I have she's video. a mad scientist, and I hadn't considered that. Defending the enemies in a game. A yes, customer. you know, I'm just trying to develop empathy, see things from another person's perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to tune in for Undertale, I don't know how that's going to line up with the schedule, but it'll be all day next week, Thursday. It's a game where you don't have to kill all the enemies. You can, like, pacifist your way through Wait, all so of them. Wait, so, and you still haven't answered the question. How, how were they? Were they chewy? Do you not want to know this? Again. I... I want to know this. Okay. This is information that I will probably never be able to, like, Obtain deduce otherwise. myself, because I'm not going to eat testicles. I guess never You're say never. you saying if you went to, a, like, a fancy dinner and they had Rocky Mountain oysters, you wouldn't try them? 
So, like, you eat an escargot. That sounds like it's gross. It's just like garlic butter, though, so. It's delicious. Probably the same thing. Put enough garlic butter and, like. That's also cheap. Fries and stuff, yeah. But I haven't eaten, like, brains. I guess I've eaten, um, what are they, sweet meats? Which are the, I don't know what part of the animal. Sweet like breads. Pancreas. Breads! Thank you. Um, no. No plan to run for office. Andrea is saying that it's going to be really hard for people in our kids' generation to run for office because it everything is a bit like recorded. Dick. Oh, but all the spices made it good. Right on. It tasted a bit like dick. <laughs> Just Hello, a little you, bit. <laughs> you know, I'm just at the port. What else do you want me to say to this guy? I want to go up to that special tree, which I forget what I was supposed to do there. Is there like an milk owl bar. you have to talk to? Is this when is the milk bar? Shipyard. Okay. This is very um, clockwork orange. What? The shipyard? This game? This game is Clockwork Orange? You guys in a milk bar. That's the opening um, Clockwork Orange. Does it have like statues of titties with milk coming out of them? No, I'm 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 having never been there, I am certain that it doesn't. Hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> oh hey, shield, that's a good idea. Do you have enough money for no, it? I'm sure. Oh, you only need nine more, that's not that many. Not sure it is, but look at the color. Five hundred <laughs> rupees, good god. And I'll come back for the shield. Hey, Reaper Cheap, how you doing? Try cutting grass, and this is probably the milk bar. Oh, he's just magically here now. Been to a lot of places. Milk here, it's the best. Aww. Where's Lineback? Party greetings. You're more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. A chair there knew him recently. He just dashed out saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. Tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. Hey, What's Skyhawk. Um, King is thank you for the host, Skyhawk. Marstead appreciates that. Yeah. How you doing, man? Appreciate the host. The red thing's important. That's why it costs money. Yeah, it looks like Anything the important Dinsperl costs thing. at least 100 rupees. Awesome. I've been having a good day. This is the first Zelda game we've gotten to in the playthrough, series playthrough that I've never played before. Oh man, what are you writing an essay on? I miss writing essays. Creepy Cheap is either a theology major like, or. Like sitting minor. in the library late at night, curled up in a chair, just reading a book for a paragraph. I'll go ahead and mark this on the map, but it, I mean, it looks like the most important thing on the map. Okay, let's go. Oh, what are you having for dinner, Skyhawk? Let's try to get four more rupees. It'll be lawnmower link. You should go go kill that chicken. Nope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you kill the chicken, you get 500 rupees. Uh huh. And then you can buy the thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, this game's cool. I like it. Um, I think I like it more when I played it for the first time for like an hour. So I say I haven't played it before. I did play it for like da, an hour. Da, da. And Andrew got further in it than I did. Yeah, I didn't sure fully did. appreciate it at the time. It looks really good for a DS game, though. Nice. Instant ramen. Aw, oh, man. Ramen's delicious. Yes, it is. Dude, there's this restaurant I went to in Tokyo where you get ramen and you, like, never have to interact with a person. You sit down at this little thing and it has dividers on either side, and then you write, you, like, circle what you want on a menu, and then, like, this little thing partition in front of you goes up and you give it to the person and it goes down, and then it comes up again after a couple minutes and they give you the soup and then it goes down. It's amazing. It's like an introvert's dream. <laughs> Did I actually have to interact with anybody at the restaurant? Nope. Did you so you minored in religious studies, but wasn't theology? Double majored. Okay. Double right. majored. Majored in both 
physics and religious studies. Religious studies. But that, that wasn't philosophy and it wasn't theology. That's correct. It's a it separate department. It was mostly department. focused on Buddhism, Tibetan right? Buddhism. Okay. And that was just because the religious studies professor was, like, a expert on Tibetan Buddhism, right? Yeah, the, yeah, and I took most of her classes. And... So I'm guessing you, you haven't read much Kant? Rikuchi, Rikuchi, no, Kanto. I have not read a lot of Kant. Um, for some reason, when I think of Kant, I think of, like, really nice, compassionate things. Is he the philosopher that, like, wants everyone to be happy and nice to each other? I'm going to let Reepicheep answer that question, because I don't feel educated enough Phenomenon, do 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 <laughs> Phenomenon, do 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 Antisocial ramen, the Phenomenon. best kind. Do, do, do. Ramen actually tastes better if you don't have to interact with any humans before you get it. See, like, this is why... You know, people, like, I tell, like, what I do in physics, and they're like, oh, man, I'm not smart enough to understand that. I guess, like, do you get that, too, Reepicheek? Reepicheek. Reepicheek? Sorry. Have, um, you, have you read Chronicles of Narnia? Yes. Do you remember Reepicheek? Nope. A little mouse? Nope. The sword? Oh, there was a mouse with a sword in Redwall! Man, you... <laughs> man, I need to try to... <laughs> Don't remember Reepicheek. Got, got this house. Oh, man. I'm in the doghouse, aren't I? <laughs> That's fine. Best character, man. Prince Caspian and Boys of the Dawn Trail. Alright, Kant's phenomenon, nomenon, distinction, and its bearing upon his notion of analytic <laughs> and synthetic propositions. Yahan, I would I mean, love... like, I feel like I respond to that statement the way that people probably respond to me saying high energy astro particle physics. Mm -hmm. Like, I know what those words mean. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I bet it's super interesting. Well, it's like, I read that's, these Buddhism that's... papers about, like, these very subtle distinctions of different consciousness and, like, the different stimuli that come into it and, like, the different parts or, like, transitions along in the mental path when you analyze that stimuli and all this crazy business that the Buddhists came up with by meditating and, like, I think the important observation about that how they think. is to not let yourself, not let anyone be intimidating to you. That's Everybody true. Has... I'm sure you could understand the very general level. The Bill Nye quote that everyone you meet knows something you don't is very useful. And, you know, physicist isn't a bump into someone who knows a lot about a specific kind of sport. I'm assuming that the quite often, yeah, means that Kant is a cool dude who's all about compassion and being nice. My mom was a philosophy major in college, so mm -hmm. I bet she would understand it immediately. I'd have to look some stuff up. Yes, I think that helps, Spikey. Yeah, exactly. And, and a lot of it is sometimes like, uh, it's like learning a new language, right? You have to learn what these people mean when they say these different words. Yeah, it's, it's a question of wh where is your depth of knowledge? Oh, no, shit. Then what was the other question? Everyone has a depth of knowledge in one place or another. It doesn't... Just because it happens to be physics for one person or philosophy for someone else doesn't make one of those knowledges inherently more valuable. For me, it's Nintendo Administrivia. <laughs> that will never matter. Maybe that is less useful. I don't know what a deanthonologist hey, is. What's a deanthonologist? I don't know what Dio. Is that that band in the 80s? Deontologist and an absolutist. He's the black and white... No, oh, he's black and white? Oh, I'm all about black and white. That's different from... Even though it's probably not real or not correct. No, man. But it's Gradient. Easier. Shades of gray. I know, but it's easier when things are black and white. But it's not true. I know, but it's easier. <laughs> and I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright, so this is the chatty fairy. She has proven herself to be quite chatty. This is the pirate we were looking for. He's in this dungeon. Behind some spikes. Yeah, I've at least heard of Kant. Normally like, I'd free I myself of that problem. I spray Is my he like the Einstein of philosophy? <laughs> there are many competing philosophers. Well, no, I know. Like, you know, there are many people who compete with Einstein's theories. It's different, though, in philosophy. Like, you could you could say that you agree with Kant and Do you think Nietzsche. it's different? Do you think philosophy, are you exploring an absolute truth? Like oh a hypothesis God. that you could test and reproduce over and over again. I mean, maybe, maybe not. You gotta like reach for the, the nihilism, <laughs> premature nihilism button. 
Well, I also know there's like Locke, right? Isn't he a philosopher? Yes. All right. Andrea is a little inebriated, guys. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> if you write like the, not the Leviathan, but something like that. Maybe it was the Leviathan. Hot, damn it. He was also a white British guy. <laughs> He's the tiger in Calvin and Hobbes. Bring it back. Oh, right on. Okay. Some of us like colors. All right. He attempted to tread a middle ground between empiricism and rationalism, and his method of doing so represented pretty much. Oh, wait, like Copernicus? All right. No, 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 no. Oh. no. It's a Copernican revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so like, it's as big of a revolution as Copernicus. Like it's Copernicus with his whole like shit orbits around the sun, not the earth. But it's but it's not talking That's about huge. Copernicus. No, it's no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, sure. no. I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Ah, all right. So yeah, it's a constant big deal. Like Einstein's a big deal. See, it worked. Okay. So okay, um, Reaper Cheek, what is your opinion on the Protestant ethic and the spirit of capitalism? Because I read that in college and I really liked it, and I've been trying to get this one to read it. And I don't know if you also think that that is an rude. interesting book. There was a chest that had It might also it. just be interesting to me because I'd never really been exposed to that kind of ideas before, or those kinds of ideas before. And maybe there are better books. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Reaper Cheap. It's okay. Now, what's your opinion on the book by uh, Max Faber called The Protestant Ethic and the Spirit of Capitalism? You may, Reaper Cheap might not have read it. It's true. You might not have read it. Uh, it's really good. And it's kind of philosophy e, but maybe more in the government or like societal Wait, sense. Do we need that rupee, the 500 rupee item to get through here? Why? I remember really, really liking it though. Oh no, it's because we come here way later. I remember getting a C on the essay I wrote about it because I was not a good history writer. This is why I did physics. Okay, so this is the main dungeon that we're going to return to many times. The Matt, the music that plays there is very similar to music that was in Link to the Past previously. It's kind of cool to hear that again. Um, Lineback took an item out of a chest. There's a door that we need to have the pearl to open. It costs 500 rupees, so we'll keep that in mind for when we come back later. Yeah, we all have our sins with books we need to read, okay. right? Very good, but someone else has recommended it. <laughs> My name's Bob Ross, huh? It's a weird name. Man, bite me, Lineback. Yeah, he looks like a dick. Should punch him in the nose. What? No, that's a horrible thing to say about a person you just met. Although I think he did loot the chest. Asshole. I should suck the life out of you if you let it. So if you stand in the purple areas on the map, you're safe. All right, Goomba. That's okay. I kind of like the idea of a progressive dungeon. So that means that you should like remember the map. Commit the map to memory. Because it's not going to be displayed every time I come back here. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> or make Andrea little, defends make... monsters, but attacks fellow humans. <laughs> More evidence of the mad scientist hypothesis. <laughs> Bob Ross is trying to save his friend. He's abducted by the ghost ship. I'm hoping you might know more about it. Where are our actual pirate friends? So I guess we got shipwrecked and landed on this island in the first place. So it's, just this is after Wind right Waker. Now. So you've already been through the whole Wind Waker adventure, and this is the same hero. This is immediately after Wind Waker. It's the exact same hero. Okay. Yes. But you still, but you don't have all the shit you got in Wind Waker. Well, the game mechanics are an abstraction. You, you shipwrecked. Yeah, we so shipwrecked. So you lost all your shit. All lost right. All, our stuff. all right. All right. He claims he has a sprained ankle. He was so close to solving the puzzle. You know what I'm hearing? Perfectly with reasonable explanations. Excuses. excuses. You know who excuses are for? Losers. Lineback's not a loser. His He's name a... starts with an L. Loser starts with an L. I'm sorry to anyone in chat whose real life name starts with an L. <laughs> That's completely incorrect. Fault of I... logic on every level. <laughs> My younger sister's name is Lisa. And when I was, was little, I used to always go A is for awesome and L is for loser. Her name is Andrea. <laughs> Good, Reaper Chief. I'm happy to hear that. 
<laughs> you feel less stressed because, you know, there are two people out here who could not write an essay nearly as good as what you're going to it write. It was Liam. Look at that. It was Reap Achieve. <laughs> Sorry, thanks, Reap Achieve. thanks, Andrea. Good name, by the way. That is a good name. <laughs> it's a strong name. You know what? That is an uncommon name. I bet when people, like, Google search you, they find you and not some other person. You guys are making me do my dirty work. Yeah, like, my name... There's only one Dylan Zeno in the world. I know. Apparently there's an Andrea Albert who's a prince of Denmark or something like that. <laughs> but if you do like Andrea Albert like physics, although now there's there's a Andrea Albert who thinks an Italian man on another after particle experiment called Antares, mm -hmm. which is a bunch of little detectors down in the Mediterranean Sea looking for neutrinos. It's basically ice cube but in the Mediterranean Sea. So that makes things unfortunate. Whoa, there's a trap there. We're gonna Kami's die. name is shared with a famous author. Okay. It'd be really great if we, like, regenerated health on these things. We, you take damage in this dungeon whenever... Oh, like both your first and your last name. You're standing yes. outside of the safe areas here. Yeah, see, so Kami says that he likes not being Google searchable, because that makes him invisible. Hmm. Makes sense. I can hear that argument either way. Ah, uh, yeah! Mine's almost empty too, Yahan. I think we should do one more. Just one. This is Yahan's fault. Yeah, that's so. Oh, I think I have to hit both switches. Let me stay here. Burp. This part's tough, man. You take a lot of damage when you're standing on the poison. This Burp. is kind of like the Dark World mechanic in uh, Metroid Prime 2. Full name is Dylan Matthias Zeno, and I don't think that redirects you to some earthbound fanfiction I wrote when I was seven anymore. <laughs> was it erotic fanfiction? Gee, I was seven years old! Question still stands! No! I don't hear you answering Absolutely the question! Absolutely not! Why would you think that? What's wrong with you? It's Do you punch yourself in the dick? <laughs> no! Will you? Absolutely not! Ah, uh, Goomba, that's the worst, man. What's the what's the most annoying thing in Pokemon that's in every Pokemon game? Pikachu. Specifically Pikachu's not annoying. What's wrong with you? Pikachu's a national treasure. <laughs> Get out of here. Don't know who Reepicheep is? You don't like Pikachu? Good god. This woman. Alright, we gotta see chart. Gotta get out of here before we die. Very real possibility. And Lineback left. Great. Evasion moves are pretty irritating. You're irritating. <laughs> Just one, but maybe a large one. There you go. Cheers, Yahan. Alright, we're safe now. That dungeon's pretty dangerous. You're pretty dangerous. Zubats. That's no, actually, scary. I really love Pikachu. I think he's adorable. Good. It was just the first thing I thought of when you said Pokemon. I guess who's the kid? A it's not well, Ness. Ash. In the cartoon, it's Ash Ketchum. He's got to catch them all. Ash Ketchum. He's an, he's an idiot. Really? He might be one of the dumbest, like, anime So he's like... You know the South Park where they make fun of Paris Hilton for having all the pets and the pets all want to kill themselves? Is it like that? Well, no. I mean, he treats his Pokemon fine, but nominally his goal is to catch them all, uh -huh. and he's horrible at that. Oh. He he has, like, a hundred Tauros, which are, like, a bull Pokemon. Okay. But he, like, frequently avoids catching Pokemon all the time. He has, like, six... Ugh. Sounds like he should change his life mission. Yeah, I don't like having to run from Zubats all the time. And if you're me and I'm afraid to run away in RPGs, I never run from them, so... So what is Ash um, Ketchum good at? Being happy. See, so he could be like, um... Oh, he could be a motivational speaker! <laughs> he is legit the worst. <laughs> he should be a motivational now, speaker. Now, the character that Ash is based on, Red, in the original Pokemon Red, who's a silent protagonist, is, is a badass. Because, mm -hmm. like, they... Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about the whole Iwata magic, where in the second Pokemon game, 
the team couldn't get their game to fit on the cartridge, so Awada came in oh, and yeah. optimized programming. And he optimized it so well that he was not only able to fit the second game, but also the original game. He compressed game. the shit out of that. Yeah. So he was mm. able to fit both games on a single cartridge. Is sexy. And the optional boss in the game is to go fight Red from the first game, and yeah. he has a really cool team. So, so you're telling strong. me that shitty Ash beats Red Ash? No. Ash is a, is a construct of the anime. He's Wait, not so a. He's not an actual. Who's the optional boss? Red was the, the. I thought Red was the good Ash. Basically, Ash is based on Red. Okay, okay. so Pokemon so, yeah. comes out as a video game. But I assume that if it's a boss, that you eventually beat it. So then that means that crappy Ash beats badass Red. Well, you don't play as Ash in the second game. Ash is a is a construct of the anime only. Okay. In the second game, you play as Gold or whatever the. Is kid's Gold name better is. than Red? He well, must I mean, be if, if he beats up. him. I mean, yeah, he's still like a bad. I mean, to that extent, I mean, you could say that Sora is better than Sephiroth. Bells, frogs, I, I would say that's probably not true. The intense of Sephiroth is you go and you get your ass kicked. Sometimes Apparently, we should watch enough. Hunter and Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. I haven't seen it. But I've heard very good things about it. Is it about two guys who go off in the woods together and hunt like deer? Whoa, there's a Pokemon anime with red. Oh shit! So it's like red and blue instead of uh, Ash and Gary. What? Hi hiatus? What's hiatus? Hiatus. Hiatus. What's hiatus? To take a break. Well, I, but he's it's... he's joking that oh. Hunter x Hunter has been on hiatus for so long, or frequently oh. goes on hiatus, and the show hasn't finished. It's like Twin Peaks. Well, hi, uh, Twin Peaks has been hiatus for a long it's ass time. It's been canceled for a long time. But they're bringing it back, so the cancellation is technically hiatus. More like it's in a well, Adventure Time has this issue where. Like, they'll show four episodes in a row, and then they'll disappear for, like, three months, and they'll Ooh, come back on and Netflix. show one. We're about to finish know. season six of Buffy, which is the, the season where you should stop. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I'm considering making him watch season seven of Buffy don't, just, don't to, spoil anything about just Buffy to see if he it. dislikes it as much as I do. Like, maybe I'm just being unfair. Mm -hmm. So oh, X Files is coming back. I was watching that. We should catch up on X Files. That was good. Let's see if Lineback's over here now. I like mysteries. The schedule update. We're playing Phantom Hourglass for another 22 minutes, and then I said it will return next week on Monday. You should kill the chicken. No. Kill the chicken. No. Kill the chicken. He gets dizzy if he spins too much. That makes sense. He but should it's spin irritating. near the chicken. No. <laughs> yeah. How does the fly with a fainted Pokemon thing work? Dude, Buffy's a good show. If you like Joss Whedon, you should watch it. Your mom's cool, Spiky. Yeah. Your mom's cool. The first cool. season's a little rough. Yeah, yeah, it's very, like, Monster of the Week, but once you start getting into the overarching character yeah. arcs... Especially Six. I won't spoil anything, but... Six is my favorite villain. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's still some silly stuff, but like, those characters go through some hard stuff, and they're all like decent people who are just trying to do their best. And... Joss Whedon's shick that he does really well is taking things that are like fantastical, like the Avengers or. Right, see, Skyhawk wants you to be a butcher. Demons. Butchers kill chickens. What? It says Skyhawk wants you to be a butcher says, and butchers kill the chicken. I'm trying to be a butcher, kill the chicken. Yeah, he wants you to kill the chicken. Because he's trying to be a butcher, Sky but he's having trouble killing the chicken, so you should kill it for him. Skyhawk, have you <laughs> have you uh have you tried to kill the chickens in a Zelda game before? Ah, Goomba, your mom is also awesome. Breaking Bad's awesome. Uh, agreed. We may have already talked about this. Have you watched Better Call Saul? Because it's really, really good. Also agreed. I think it I think I like it as much as Breaking Bad. Congrats, Dayon. Like... Good job. And you're having trouble with that. Yeah! Shovel Knight! I'll do Shovel Knight on stream eventually. It's actually, it's on the voting list. If you wanted to vote for Shovel Knight, it's, uh, exclamation point, game 08. And I think today I voted for Kingdom Hearts. You did. I like that game. Standard map, it's simply Doesn't make any go. sense, and the other ones beyond it make less sense, but it's a good game. Trust you can solve the puzzle, Bob Ross. So, in Shovel Knight, are you, like, a grave digger? Or are you a knight who, instead of using a sword, you use a shovel? You're a knight who, instead of using a sword, you use a shovel. You smack people over the head. Well, you bounce. 
Like you jump and you hold the shovel like down. Like a pogo stick? Like a pogo stick. <gasps> like Scrooge. Yeah, I think you'd like Shovel Knight. It's ba it's Ooh. Castlevania, Mega Man, and DuckTales combined. Ooh. Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astra lives there, and she sees far at Bob Ross. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Wait, wait, wait. Tommy's disappointed in me, and I don't understand. I haven't watched a Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Steins Gate yet. Oh, damn it! Dylan, to watch. get on that! I did I did suggest Brooklyn Nine-Nine one day, and you said, no, I want to watch Buffy. Oh. And I said, okay. That's my fault. Buffy's uh, really good. What's Brooklyn Nine-Nine-Nine about? You know, I finally watched it's Fargo. It's a black comedy, like Fargo. But that was not, really good. I haven't seen the show at all. It's got Andy Samberg from uh, Lonely Island. Is. Lonely Island guy. Jufro. Sure. He's one of the ones that goes... I'm on a boat. In the, like, just... Going fast, in my pants song. Yes, he's one of the ones that makes that face. Okay. That's, that's Andy Samberg. Is he a good actor? I don't know. I mean, I hear it's a funny show that it sometimes takes a turn to the series. Yes, you can reap it cheap. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Dude, it's really hard to keep him in line. He's a free spirit. That's why I love him. I'm a free spirit? <laughs> it's hard to keep me in line? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't do I any. follow your every command and whim. I don't give many commands. <laughs> you just do things on your own. Like, hey, Dylan. <laughs> I kind of want some a togos command. for dinner. That's a request. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kami. You've said it to Andrea's face. It's gonna. We need to watch we the show. We watched The Wire. We need to watch the show. That was good. I but also, if it's gonna be a dark comedy, so we, ha okay. we have to watch Mulholland Drive. Chaos. I need to ask you this question: Is Mulholland Drive dark or sad? If it's sad, I shouldn't show it to Andrea because she's not. It's not her bag. I like sad shit. Like, that's my my jam all day. What are you What are you doing? I want to read the info on Khan. Open the get new tab. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Draw a line and. Dude, he looks like a gremlin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I assure you. <laughs> We should get a uh, Dieter and Mando in here. They both have a background in philosophy. Oh yeah, Dieter double major in philosophy. Yeah, and uh, so did Mando. She started. All right, metaphysics. The, the critique of pure reason. Man, that is quite, quite the title. We talked about that in the salon. In did Columbus. we? Oh, I... it's cool. What can we know? That's a good question. I think that that answer to that question varies from person to person. Oh man, Beetle. You have Beetle hype? What? No. You don't like Beetle? Not really. He's like a Muppet dude. Oh! Thank you! He doesn't actually say it in this one though, he just type, type, types it out. Oh, that's an improvement. Pink coral. Our knowledge is constrained to mathematics and the science of the natural Boom empirical thing. world. Right on! Stone chimney for my ship. It is impossible to extend knowledge to the super sensible realm of speculative metaphysics. Yeah, right? So, cause like, I always say that there are questions that science can't answer and there are questions that other things have to try to answer. Because science requires people, it to be a reproducible a hypothesis. Fundamentally... Yeah, people ask me, like, what happened for the Big Bang? Science can't answer that question right now. I mean, I've seen some people who said, oh, maybe some catastrophic well, event will leave an imprint or I something. Think, I think the CMB, reason but... that's an uninteresting question for uh, scientists yeah, like, is that it's like asking how white is black. Like, that's an interesting philosophical question. But it's, zero. You know, it's white is zero black. black. <laughs> that has an answer. Ooh, come here. Check this out. Oh man, Yahan's still plugging away at Dead Space. Doing God's Andrea work wouldn't there, be Yahan. able to break any tension on that. Really? You don't think so? Challenge accepted. No, no. Dead Space is a jump scare game. Oh. It's it's like yeah. aliens. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for it. It looks really fun. Jump but... scares get me real bad, man. You can do the the ambient horror. Have you like absorbed this? 
No, I'm gonna read this after stream. There's oh, too much stuff. Okay, well, I'm what, gonna what go. I'm reading about cut. Oh, okay. All right. Damn. Do what you will. <laughs> hey, Nulu, how you doing? Isle of Ember. The reason that knowledge has these constraints yeah. is that the mind plays an active role in constituting the features of experience and limiting the mind's access only to the empirical realm of space and time. Do okay, get you. let me try to figure out what that means. So I've beaten Shovel Knight before, Dehan. Um, when I do it on stream, I have a little bit of an advantage of having played it before. I haven't done the Plague Knight DLC at all, so I'd like to do both of them. Like, play through it once as Shovel Knight and then do it again as Plague Knight, since it's pretty different. Andrew is drunk. <laughs> Not ornery. Difference. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow. Pixel Penguin, how you doing? Oh, penguins are awesome. My wife is inebriated. <laughs> Don't take that as a... I had a co-worker who loved penguins, and he got to go backstage at the Columbus Zoo when they were feeding the penguins one. She was so excited. Why did he get to go behind it? Did you just I tell know, me like, penguins I think he knew someone. Yeah. Or he just loved penguins and found a way. <laughs> Andrew has been trying to learn more about Kant, Annual Kant, who's a philosopher, talking about in comparison to science and how there are certain things that are not <laughs> the domain really of science, about science to answer. <laughs> All right, so so Reepicheep sent this link about Kant, who he's writing an essay about, um, and I forget the detail, <laughs> and. I was asking, because I knew that Kant is an important philosopher. And so in this article about Kant, it says that, it says that his work mainly addresses the question, what can we know? And that Kant argues it's impossible to extend knowledge to the super sensible realm of speculative metal metaphysics and that we can only really know things that we can model mathematically. This is where I would joke and say that you got to press the premature nihilism button. Argues that the mind plays an active role in constituting the features of experience and limiting the mind's access only to the empirical realm of space and time. I mean, it is, yeah. It is kind of interesting that there, there are things like besides human beings that have to obey the laws of physics, you know? Mm hmm. So, like, as human beings, we can all say, oh, all of us agree that, like, yellow is a happy color, but that's just because of our collective experience, maybe. But, like, we all have to fall with an acceleration rate of 9.8 meters per second squared due to yep. the gravitational force of the Earth. Like, everything <laughs> has to follow that. That has, like, no basis on experience. Depend no, no matter what your life history is, you have to follow these laws of physics. So, Pixel Penguin, how did you stumble into the stream? Were you, were you following Phantom Hourglass? Imagine this game is... Pretty infrequently streamed on Twitch. Not a lot of people have uh, DS capture hardware. Congrats, Dehan. Good job. Yay, Dehan. What do you Well, do? I mean, Drunk Andrea is reading the article out loud. <laughs> it's that, true. That I Reaper am. That posted. She's yes. not claiming to understand it. <laughs> I'm adding some commentary, but yes, mostly I'm reading out loud. Which I'm impressed that I can pronounce these words. Can you can you talk to the? Ah! Hey, back there! I yeah, don't you know. Did it. What? Good job. Hey. You triggered the microphone. Okay, so Kant says that the mind is not a blank slate that is written upon by the empirical world, and rejected the notion that a pure a priori knowledge. Hey, we use the word a priori too, <laughs> and a posteriori. Um, of a mind-independent world was possible. Oh, if you're new to the stream, hi, I'm Marstead. I'm trying to play through and beat every awesome single-player game ever made, knowing that there's too many of them to beat them all in one <laughs> lifetime. But we're trying to anyway. Oh, I don't on, claim to be a philosopher. Right I want to. Maybe I have to go look for the torches to do this. Hold on. I thought it was going to be marked on that map. I think I just have to mark it on my own back. One of my favorite questions that people would ask when physicists would get drunk together is, does an electron cast a shadow? 
And the reason people ask that is because the electron's a point particle, so like in theory it doesn't have any volume. So you would say, well, maybe it doesn't cast a shadow. But then I was saying, well, if it was bound in like a hydrogen atom, it does absorb specific wavelengths. So it's going to cast a shadow, but in different colors, which are the, the emission or the um, absorption spectral lines. Her name is Andrew. My name is Dylan. My online name is Marstead. It's a character I made in a video game a long time ago. I guess you have to define what you mean by shadow. The shadow is a blocking of light, but I could say that maybe a shadow is also an absorption of light. Yes, I would agree with Chaos that science and philosophy are not kind bedfellows, because it's very different. A Reaper Jeep kind of nails it on the head, I'd say. All right, so here's a torch. I have to mark this. Let's do it here. That's you know, torch. so recently we we had a... um. In outreach meetings, so at Slack we have a group of people who go around to high schools and tell them about physics and the research we're doing. And Stanford was having its homecoming, and some alumni heard about our meeting and kind of crashed it, and it was trying to go on and on about how we should be including more philosophy in our outreach. And pretty much idea. every person in the room was like, trying to be polite, but also like, yo, why are you wasting our time? Yeah. Because um, they really are separate questions mm -hmm. um, hey cloud reaver people spiky how y'all doing doesn't look like an evil ghost no it looks like a muppet oh reaper chief that's such a great oh i'm gonna steal that i wasn't attempting to inform just to contribute <laughs> no isn't that brilliant mm -hmm. yeah yeah because you're like oh, i'm not telling you what to think i'm just trying to give you some other like food for thought just trying to, you know, keep the conversation going. Oh, I yeah, love that! Torch Two torches we found. I don't know, Spiky. Sometimes it glitches out. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm trying to play through and beat every awesome single player game ever I'm made. I'm sorry. Knowing that there's too many to beat them all in one lifetime. Zelda's one of those games. Uh, one day per week, we spend a whole day focusing on one of the games in the Zelda series. We've been trying to play through all of them in chronological order. Started with Skyward Sword, we beat that one. Minish Cap, Wait, Ocarina, I spelled and Majora's right, Mask 3DS. Do I spell it wrong? Uh, I think my bot is connected. Oh, uh, sorry, Reaper Chief. Go write your essay! <laughs> Go type it out. You need to get another paragraph done in the next 20 minutes. So if you're or just, else. If you're just here for Zelda, that's totally cool. Check the schedule below the stream to see when it'll be on. Uh, this week it was Friday. Next week will be Monday. So we're just going to continue right away Monday with some more Phantom Hourglass. The following week it'll be Tuesday and so on. Uh, but otherwise, if you're interested in some of the other games we're playing right now, include Final Fantasy, Metroid, Valkyria Chronicles, Mass it Effect. It says disconnect. Yeah, so the chat's been up and down today. Back oh. up now. That's probably the same thing that caused Spiky to show as being in chat when... Or leaving chat and rejoining. Cool, well, good luck on that, Atheus. Oh, uh, sorry, Reaper Chief. Finish your outline! <laughs> <laughs> she wants you to do work, is what she's saying. She's encouraging you to keep working. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like, yeah, when you say you're an atheist, like, you suddenly have to answer lots of questions, huh? No. Oh. I know. That's right on. You should be an evolutionary biologist or an astrophysicist. I have a slight preference towards astrophysics, but that's my own personal because bias. Because you are an astrophysicist? Yeah, see, I like I said, my own personal bias. Torch. If you see one, there's lots of call cool questions. But yes, biology is also super cool and fun. Hmm. Lots of cool questions there too. If you see a torch, yell. Same goes to chat. If you guys notice I a see torch water. that I run past, let me know. I need to find the three torches. Is that a torch? Have. That is a mailbox. Oh. But you could light it's it on red. fire and make it a torch. I mean, really, I feel like the term torch is very ambiguous. Yes. They want two they want like three sticks. If you see an active fire. Call active it out to fire. Me. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Link or I'm sorry, Bob Ross is a fire in his soul. Does that count? 
No, I <laughs> not a mobile. I'm not a torch. Playing for about Stay four more minutes, but I'd like to solve this work. puzzle first. Come on, let me come. That's that's a song that's out there right now. Is it a jazzercise song? It is actually. It's an upper arm routine, and that it's a very old me. song. Okay, is there a torch here, maybe? Nope, that's falling in the water. That's not what we want to do. There's got to be a third torch third torch out here. I just don't know where it is. I've looped around a couple times here. It might be somewhere where I can just barely ah, see it. Ah, you're a theist. What do you say my mom is? Is she a theist? She's a deist. Deist, I'm sorry. She believes that God created the world and then kind of left. It's a mailbox. <laughs> you got it, Atheist. It could be a torch. All we need to do is introduce fire. Yeah. Do you have fire yet? No, I don't. I'm, I'm looking for a torch. Oh. Let me know if you see one. I really need help finding this torch. I've looped around this island a couple times now. Is it I found inside a house? Oh, that's an interesting question. A good idea that you had there. Ah! Someone do quote three. You were right, Andrea. Did I do it right? Yeah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> science. It's so frequent. Did I, get, did I really get scienced? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. You're welcome. Hooray, you touched the right places. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a little excited there. I apologize. Sorry, everybody. Just being thankful I didn't use a higher frequency. I know I <laughs> used a higher amplitude, but I could have also used a higher frequency. <laughs> we we thank you. Sorry, everybody. That's <laughs> probably good. After this cuts in here, I'm going to go ahead and save and sign off for the week. Yes, tell me my fortune. Assemble yourselves and I will join you. This will be a good stopping point for next time. Who's Astrid? Astrid's the fortune teller who I just rescued. Oh, that was nice of you. Vote one to cut off. Can I like give myself? Hold on. Do I do vote one to cut off Andrew? Is that what it is? <laughs> that would give a negative value. Oh, you don't have that many sphere points. God. Mark's dead. <laughs> Get your shit together. The mighty sea in the voice of a sacred light. Yes. I'll make haste to the Temple of Fire, then you must defeat the Power of Darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies out of you. I have within you to alter our doom course of events, Bob but the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Oh, great. Thanks. Lineback's a dick. Hopefully he, like, doesn't leave with the ship, because we need him. I know exactly <laughs> where the alcohol is. It's in the freezer. <laughs> Alright, thanks everybody for hanging out today. Good having all of you, like he was saying. Trying to play through and beat every awesome single-player game ever. Um, Fan Marglass will return next week Monday from noon to 6 Pacific. If you wanted to check it out, if you missed any of it today, we beat Wind Waker... And, uh, made some decent Beat progress Wind on Waker! Phantom Hourglass. You can check that out on yeah! YouTube after the fact. Um, as far as what's coming up for the rest of next week, uh, tomorrow we're playing Zelda Triforce, Triforce Heroes, Heroes, the multiplayer game. Uh, it's going to be with friends on uh, Not Randos. TeamSpeak. <laughs> uh, Flare Wing and Haypack are going to be in TeamSpeak with me, and we're going to try to figure out the puzzles together. That starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. 
Um, next week, expect to see some uh, more Phantom Hourglass, Final Fantasy X, Metroid Prime 3, Super Mario Maker, uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, we're going to be doing Undertale next week, Thursday, all day, noon until we beat it. And then Friday, there's going to be another sub block for people who have subscribed on Patreon and uh, some more Valkyria Chronicles. Hi, Ben. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a good rest of your Friday night. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow uh, for some Zelda Triforce Heroes. Before I sign off here, let me find somebody else who's playing a Zelda game so we can throw them a host. Probably not so lucky to have anybody on Phantom Hourglass. No. Bye-bye. But let's see. <laughs> Uh, let's try The Legend of Zelda. Try Wind Waker. Since we were just playing that. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, let's go... This person is playing Wind Waker. Check out their channel. I'll throw them a host. Pop in, give them a follow, say hello. Have a good rest of your Friday night. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Triforce Heroes. Good night, everybody. Stakers! Good night, everybody. Bye.